just a little bit of an update on my medical thing. Went to the doctor this morning and Terry and Mary had a visit and I rode along with her to see her doctor. And I went from there over to the Griffin Imaging where they got to do the scanning for my whatever kind of scan it is I got to get. I don't, I don't know what you call them darn scans. But the appointment's for Thursday, but I had to go over there and pick up this lovely medicine you gotta drink. I gotta drink two 16 ounce bottles of some delicious looking vanilla flavored something or another a uh, couple hours before I go down for my scan. So we'll know after that um, report from that will go to the doctor. My appointment with the doctor is on, uh, don't quote me, I think it's July 19th. But I picked me a doctor over in Fayetteville because I don't want to drive all the way to Stockbridge. Dr. Patel or somebody is the one that referred me to the one in Stockbridge. I can't think of his name. But I decided that was just too much effort from Contraria Merida if I wind up in the hospital. Too much effort for her to drive that expressway all the way up there in that heavy traffic at Stockbridge. And believe me, it's heavy up there. She's more familiar with Fayetteville, which is about 25 miles over this way. And there's a colon, Georgia colon center over there. So I just made my doctor here in Griffin refer me to a different doctor. I think they recommend their buddies or something. But I, I don't look forward to this surgery that I'm going to have to get. But most likely I will be getting it. Um, they're going to have to talk to me a little more about it in more detail rather than the nonchalant way that doctor that found the problem with the colonoscopy was. He was just nonchalant as could be about it. Like it wasn't no big deal, but you know, I didn't fall off no turnip truck. When you go to cutting the organs out of your body, especially something important like a colon, sometimes that can be pretty rough. One thing in my favor, I noticed on the news that the Pope got his colon operated on this week. But he got the Lord on his side. Hopefully I do too. But that old man's in his 80s and he, he's, you know, they're not going to give you no details, but they, I guess he survived the operation. I'm getting a cut picking sunburn sitting here. I picked some beans to go with our other bag that I took in the other day. They're still in the refrigerator. She hasn't snapped them yet. But all total, I got a two-gallon bag full of beans off my little tree, and there's more coming on. Yeah, I'm actually getting my arm sunburned out here. Well, that July sun is cooking me. I do hope everybody had a nice 4th of July. I'm certainly not going to be squirting this thing much longer. I've been doing a lot of bird videos here in the last couple of days. I'm trying to stockpile two or three videos in my library that I haven't posted for y'all to see yet. So at such time when I'm disabled or off, to get my surgery done, maybe I can nonchalantly go on YouTube with my cell phone and make two or three of them public or one or two public or whatever. So I'll have an upload that would keep going. I've been getting some pretty good bird shots here lately. The goldfinch and the, the finches have been sticking with me pretty good. Uh, I haven't seen the bluebirds the last few days, and the mockingbirds are being awful scared. Scares. Got two or three brown thrasher videos I got made. And there's one little blue one comes around. I guess somebody said it's a, 
a fledgling bunting, it, and it might be. It's not dark blue like a grown-up bunting, but if he's a fledgling, he probably wouldn't be either. I got two or three of him in the bird bed. I got quite a few viewers that enjoy my bird bath video. I got a nice video today I'm going to be uploading with goldfinches eating my zinnias. I notice the other finches will go to the bird feeder and eat the seed, but the goldfinch don't ever go in the bird feeder. But they sure are having fun chewing up my zinnia flowers. I think Contreras Mary is making her some fried green tomatoes tonight. Look at my leg. You frankly watch it turn red. Feels like a microwave cooking me. I picked a big old green tomato yesterday, and that's the one she's frying. It was twice as big as these other ones. I ran out of bags from a uh, bag of bug over there. They smell pretty rank. But you know, maybe that rank smell from the bag of bug keeps the deer away at night. I don't know. I need to go get me some more bags and replace those. I replaced the ones around front the other day. But I didn't have any bags to put around here, and that thing looked like it's got three or four inches of bugs in it. Well, I guess I got my meters watered. Appreciate y'all tuning in today. And I'm a fine one to be complaining about the sun. This is one beautiful day. I should have had enough sense to wear my hat out here, though. I cut grass yesterday. Um, I think it was yesterday. Got the whole property cut. I made a little short lawn mowing video, mostly just a tour around the property. I'll love, love that in a day or two. But it gives you an idea of just how much grass I cut every time. I'm going to sit here and water just a couple more minutes. I do hope y'all have a good evening as people all part stand. We'll catch y'all on the flip-flop. We'll catch you next time around. Or we'll see you later. How about that?